Welcome to Hot Seat MD, a case conference review. The directions are simple. When the case appears, I will ask you to pause your media player. Then describe the study type and findings, give a brief differential diagnosis, and then check out the fast facts for additional information. Now pause your media player. Axial CT image of the chest reveals air in the right pleural space. The differential diagnosis here is pneumothorax, and this is clearly a pneumothorax, although bullous disease can also be added into the differential diagnosis. Now pause your media player. 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 This axial CT angiographic image of the chest demonstrates a filling defect in a segmental artery leading to the right lower lobe. The differential diagnosis includes pulmonary embolus and tumor thrombus or embolus. However, there is no enhancement of the thrombus on this image and no other evidence to suggest anything other than a bland pulmonary embolus. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. The radiograph and CT images revealed a thick-walled cavitary mass in the left upper lobe, as well as a small nodule just posterior to this. The differential diagnosis includes cavitating malignancy, or metastasis, infection or abscess, including tuberculosis, and other granulomatous processes. This could really be any of the above, and clinical history is essential in this particular case. Now pause your media player. This CT image demonstrates a left pleural effusion with swirling of the vasculature and pulmonary parenchyma to form a sort of mass peripherally in the left lower lobe. The differential diagnosis here should include round atelectasis, and this is the most likely diagnosis with the swirling of vessels and the pleural effusion. Also included in the differential could be lung cancer, pulmonary infarct, and round pneumonia, especially if it is a younger patient. Now pause your media player. This CT image demonstrates a fine reticular pattern with superimposed areas of ground glass opacification, the so-called crazy paving pattern in the posterior aspect of the left lung. The differential diagnosis here should include bacterial pneumonia, which can be focal as in this case, acute interstitial pneumonia, which is usually bilateral, adult respiratory distress syndrome, which is usually bilateral, and pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, which is fairly rare. 